This is a warning. The Grim Reaper of radio, Bob Romanek, with his off-the-record show, is about to air. He's probably the nastiest and craziest son of a bitch that you've ever had the misfortune to encounter. The Grim Reaper show will be very controversial and probably quite tasteless if you are even slightly offended by controversial matter concerning religion, racial matters, politics, or life's problems. You are hereby warned to turn this program off immediately. The Grim Reaper show will be, like his face, very scary and very ugly. At this time, not proudly, but shamefully presents to you, Bob Romanek, the craziest son of a bitch on the radio today. This is Bob Romanic, the Grim Reaper of Radio, and you're listening to the all-new KQQZ 1190 AM, America's Bi-State Voice of Freedom. You hear me, people? I said Bi-State Voice of Freedom. We have every right to congregate. We have a right to protest. We have a right to be free and say what we want, and that's what the good people of Cahokia have come out today. Insane broadcasting. That's what we're all about. And we are the Patriot. Hey, I want to say we're out here in Cahokia. What a what a beautiful crowd. What a beautiful town. Well, what's a beautiful town it once was. We've got this jerk off, and for you ladies, sometime you may have to hold your ear because in my uh, in my studio, I don't know who's listening. I don't want to disrespect anybody, but when I go to it, I go to it. So I want to apologize for my language, but I'll never apologize for what I say. We're out here in Cahokia. We just had a minute of silence for all of our military heroes. There's no other radio station that does that but us. We take a minute. People say, you waste a minute. I say, kiss my white, hairy, stinky ass. We're not wasting a minute when we're remembering our loved ones and all the military heroes that died before us. Having said that, behind me at this beautiful park here in Cahokia, it was beautiful last year. I was out here last year. Everything was cut. Everything was manicured. Hell, now I'm afraid to walk through some of this park. Maybe I get rolled. I don't know. But... Behind me, a beautiful memorial for Officer Jeremy Chambers. He was a patrolman that was killed in the line of duty on April 24, 2006. And I want to take an extra moment of silence now to honor him and every law enforcement officer who have sacrificed their lives to keep ours safe. I hope all, all of our fallen police officers, all of our fallen fire department, all of our fallen military heroes, rest in peace because they deserve that. We get these rotten bastard politicians, not public servants. We've got Jerry Nichols here who's a public servant who does for everybody. We get these no-count, low-life, good-for-nothing, rotten bastard politicians that are screwing their lives up for us, future generations. Got a gentleman here, gentleman here that's retired from uh, Granite City Steel. You know what it's like to work at Granite City Steel today? You know what it's like sweating? You know, the gentleman makes eight, ten thousand dollars a year in pension. We don't thank him when we drive over that bridge, but we have a damn politician who will come and write a big check and put somebody's name on it that doesn't deserve anything. They're up there in the county making one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars a year. Ain't worked an honest day in their life. Gentlemen from uh, the steel foundries in Granite City, I want to salute you and, and every every true American, because gentlemen like him, the garbage collectors, the street cleaners, they're the ones that make this country go. It's not these rotten bastards up there in their suits and ties making the big money, getting a big pension. And I don't care about their pension. I do care about I'm paying it, you're paying it, we're all paying it. And that's crap. That's bull crap. We're going to put a stop to it. You people, a great, great crowd out here. With me also, I've got the co-chairman 
of the St. Clair. <laughs> I've got, I've got the co-chairman of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, Roger Cook. And Roger, I know whenever we announced that we were going to broadcast live here, and we're going to talk about a lot of the problems that have just surfaced after Curtis McCall has been elected. And you said, Bob, I want to come out as a co-chairman of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. I want to talk to the people. I want to let them know that the coalition's behind them. So I alone with these people appreciate you coming out. Thank you very much. Hey, Bob, I appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you. I've got a lot of family from Cahokia as a young man. I spent a lot of time here in Cahokia growing up. Uh, Bill Pinnock, who lives down Water Street, is my uncle. Aunt Barbara was my dad's sister. Uh, Byron Cook, a lot of you know Cookie from, he was my dad's brother. So I tell you, I know Cahokia well. The reason we put together the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition is bring people like you, people like me, independence together to bring government back to the people. It's simple. All we need to do is start electing people that represent what's best for the people, not their self and not a machine. In St. Clair County, for over 35 years, they've had one party control. Look what it's got us. No longer do you get hired because you're the best qualified. You're hired because you take care of the machine and the machine politicians. I've been fed up all my life. I took on the machine in 1993 as a decorated cop. Police officer year twice in Belleville, a homicide investigator, a private businessman that had success. I own St. Clair Park. I took the machine on and beat him as mayor of Belleville from 93 to 97. Never increased taxes, reduced crime four years in a row, led the region in economic development three out of the last four years, beating Fairview, O'Fallon, the big uh, business areas. That's because everything we did, every decision we made it was best for the people. And when I walked out of that office, I was proud because I could look everybody in the eye and tell them I did exactly what I told you I would do. That's more important to me. It's not about money. I spent fifth, over 15 years in the financial industry. I've been very successful and blessed and enjoyed my life doing that. But now I'm taking a stand because we have to do it now. I know you people in Cahokia have to do it. You've, you've got to stay involved, stay engaged and fight the fight. If not, what's going to happen to Cahokia? So I'm proud to be here, especially proud to be here with the memorial for a fallen police officer, the veteran memorial, and together we can bring government back to the people. Mr. Roger Cook, co-chair of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. People, you ought to see these people out here. They're out here in the sun. But you know why they're out here in the sun suffering? They're out here in the sun suffering because they've got a major problem out here. And the problem is called McCall. That's the problem. The problem is called McCall. I see a sign, recall McCall. I wish you guys could do that, but that's not in the state constitution. What I tell a lot of people, you should have investigated this before you went out and voted for Curtis McCall. Curtis McCall has promised 400 people jobs. And he's given 10 or 12. But do you notice he gives them to his friends? He gives them to his people that are precinct committee men that can get him votes? He don't care about the normal people. He's like that no-count, low-life son of a bitch up in St. Clair County. My good friend, our sweet Kate's Kern, and I'll tell you about him later. They never advertise. You people all live in Cahokia. Who the hell you think's paying that new $31 an hour for the public works director, the $31 an hour for the assistant public works director, another $31 an hour for another assistant public? Who's going to do the work? They're trying to circumvent the unions. What's that? That's right. Thank you. You heard that lady in the back. I thought she was going to shoot me. She's not mad. <laughs> That's right. You people are paying it. It's, if it's a private industry, if, if Walmart wants to hire all their friends and relatives, that's their business. But this is your business. And you people are, are, are good enough and strong enough and committed enough to come out here in this heat to talk to us and let us know what's going on. I tell you, every one of those jobs should have been advertised. Was one of them advertised? Did any of your family members get them? Now, there's, there's primarily white people. There's a few proud black people here. Curtis McCall has promised so many people jobs. Now, I ask the people that he promised jobs, call him. Call the city hall. See where these jobs are at. He can only make so many jobs. And at the end of the day, they can take money from one part of the budget to put over the other part. But what happens to the part they took away? It's going to suffer. Curtis McCall, hey, hey, you little bitch. Curtis McCall, and I'm calling you out. I had to come to your town to get you to talk to me, and you won't even talk to me. 
Doesn't that something, people? I swear to you. Somebody talked about me like I talk about these dogs. They wouldn't have to invite me to the radio station. It would be a drive through radio station because I'd drive my car through it. I'd get on the air. I can't pay these rotten bastards, but you can't defend something if you have nothing to defend. And they have nothing. They sit there every day and get the hell beat out of them. Maybe some people don't like the way I say it, but when you're in a fight, you don't worry about how you say things. You worry about winning, and that's what we're going to do. And speaking of a winner, with us now, a good friend of mine, not the best-looking guy in Cahokia by any means. I don't want to I don't want to sit there and lie to you people, because unless you're blind, you can. I didn't have to tell you that. But <laughs> with me, Jerry Nichols. Jerry, you're the lone wolf. Yeah. I'm by myself, Bob, that's for sure. Wait, as bad as you look, I, I can understand. No. <laughs> hey, Jerry, I want to compliment you. You're fighting the fight. You're the lone wolf. You're the only board member questioning everything that's going on. They've tried to beat you down. You've stood strong. I appreciate that. And as you heard the crowd, they appreciate what you're doing for the people of Cahokia. Yeah, they're behind me. I, I can tell that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to walk away from this, you know. I argued with the mayor last night how he was going to pay this friend Silica Jack, uh, Jackson. $67,000 a year. Well, he said his job was part-time. Well, now he, last night he told the crowd that it was a 24-hour job. Well, now he makes 39.9, I think, and he's going to pay her 67,000 as an assistant from to do his job from Fairview. Now, how can you bring a lady to Cahokia from Fairview? Well, you know what that tells me that they him and his papa because when you say Curtis McCall Jr., you got to say Curtis McCall Sr. They have found and it's a slap in the face to everybody. There's nobody in Centerville Township, nobody in Cahokia that's intelligent enough to do that job. So they got to go to Fairview. Now, but when he goes and goes out for votes, and I don't want to make it a black-white thing, but I know I've heard people say, Curtis will get rid of this white mayor. And that's okay. Curtis has every right to say what he wants. But then, after he uses the blacks to get elected, he forgets about the proud blacks. Now, you can be part of McCall's team, but you have to sell out to the white boys in Belleville. You have to be what I call a plantation Negro. Black mad at me for saying that. My buddy from East St. Louis called and said, Bob, I'm not mad. Thank you, because I want to be separated from the plantation Negroes. I want to be separated from the, the, the proud blacks that get elected, and once they do, they sell out to Belleville. Cahokia is not running this town. God, Sprague, and Belleville. They come down here. They take all the money. He's going to make two. He don't care how much illegal activity goes on. He's an attorney. He's going to make two, $300 an hour at your expense. He gives a damn less. He gives a damn less about the people of Cahokia. Uh, Jerry, what, what's going to happen here? I mean, this, this thing has fell apart in a matter of a month or two. Yeah, he's been here two months, and he's destroyed the town already. This, this pay he's paying out right now to all these people for this uh, commissioner's jobs, like Trevon Tompkins, $30 an hour to work in the park. He's got two people to watch. You got Drake Jackson worked at the school. He's over at the fitness center making 29.50 an hour. What do we need those people for? And you got Kevin Wiggins. He's a felon, big felon, a uh, lot of lot of counts. Now he's him and Dale Thornton. Dale Thornton has been a union member for like 29 years. You see, he's got to step out to take the $30 an hour. And uh, he's going to be working with Ron Tapley, him and Wiggins. Yeah on the streets, you know, for Public Works Department. Well, you brought up a good point, and I talked with ex-Mayor Carnwell, and we're going to have him on momentarily. You don't need a pen and a piece of paper to understand this. $31 an hour. They give them a car, so that's gas, oil. They give them a pension. They give them days off. They give them holidays pay. They give them a big insurance package. Every one of those people is, is costing you good people between eighty and $100,000 a year. Now, how the hell can a small village an impoverished village like Cahokia, keep affording that. You, you, you can't. You can't keep taking money out of the cookie draw because sooner or later, nobody's putting money back in. There's not going to be any money. So, Jerry, do you plan on staying on, not like this other, I don't know why this guy that was elected would disrespect himself and just resign. I would have fought the fought till they'll have to carry me out in the stretcher. Well, that's what they're going to have to do to me, Bob. I will not walk away from my seat. I'm here for these people. I'm for the union people. And I, I'll go with them anywhere. So... That's about it. You know. Hey, let me tell you, and all you people that aren't part of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, Roger Cook, co-chair, we got Jerry Nichols. He's the assistant director, as is uh, ex-Mayor Carnwell for the Cahokia, for the Cahokia chapter of the uh, Freedom Coalition. This Freedom Coalition is not about Democrats, Republicans, not about independents, not about men, women, black, white. 
It's about all of us. I've had people call me yesterday. One guy says, hey, Romantic, you're about a no good son of a bitch. And I said, well, so were you. He said, I don't want to fight you. He said, I heard you yesterday. And he said, I don't agree with everything you say, but I do agree with we've got, all got one common enemy. And that's the St. Clair County culture of corruption. That's the St. Clair County Democratic organization that has done nothing for you people. You've got Bob Sprague, the head of it. He's making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year here. You got him as the uh, village attorney or the township attorney with Curtis McCall Sr., a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. He's doing something in Centerville. This white guy, and, and I'm white. Sometimes I'm not proud to be white. This guy comes down here in a racially mixed area. He's a white boy. He takes all the money. I've driven by his house, and I'll get you his address. He lives up. He can't get any further out of Belleville because he wanted to move away from the black community. I don't give a damn what he says. That's my opinion. He lives in a million-dollar house in the Orchards. You drive through the Orchards, and you see the houses. And you know what the egregious part is? You good people are living in sixty, eighty, hundred thousand dollars common houses like like I did. He's taking your money, throwing it in your face, and living in a million dollar house. And he can do that because he couldn't do that without who? Curtis McCall Sr. in Centerville Township, Curtis McCall Jr. in in Cahokia. You've got Rich Soje, and some people may be friends with Rich Soje. I'm not one of them. I make the same analogy. I was friends with his uncle. I was a bodyguard for a while for his uncle, old Paul, great guy, kind of rough around the edges, but a great, great guy, loved him to death. Rich Soje comes to uh, Soje. He had all of his Happy Joe's pizzas years back. was a total flop. So he opened up the strip clubs, and I love ladies. I got nothing against the strip clubs. He made all that money, and instead of moving in town because he wanted to be a board member and buying a normal-looking house like everybody has out there, he had to build a mansion. Now, how disrespectful is that to everybody in Soja? I wish I lived in Soja, Illinois. I'd be on his ass every day, and I'm going to be on his ass anyway. But instead of moving into a normal house, we call him King Richard. And God Sprague did the same thing, but God was smart enough. He moved out with all the other rich guys, so you can't really tell how rich he is. But now Soje, those poor people, and I shouldn't say poor, those people who live in those forty, fifty thousand dollar houses. I lived in a housing project, so a forty, fifty thousand dollar house was a castle to me. But for rich Soje, and when you leave here, think about it. To build that mansion. But that's not just his mentality, that's God Sprague's mentality, that's Mark Kern's mentality. Mark Kern just bought property. I've got a condo up in Grafton. They just bought another $2.3 million piece of property in Brussels, in Calhoun County. You know why? They like to hunt. You can hunt outside Freeburg. You can hunt outside Marissa. They've raised the taxes so high. Two reasons. They don't want to be there. And remember, remember old Barra Civic back in the day when Elliot Davis asked him a question in the elevator? He says, hey, Rufus, and I don't want to piss off the black community, but we all got to understand we can't let those son of a bitches in Belleville divide and conquer the br proud black and proud white community. And that's what they're trying to do, and that's what they'll do if we let them. Now, hopefully, hope we have any members of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition or anybody want to be a member of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition? Yeah. Well, what, we've got some bumper stickers here, and what we're going to do, we've been out, Roger Cook and I, and we're going to go out to different parts of the county. We want the normal people. I don't want the political bigwigs. I want the people who have been screwed, politically screwed by these big wigs. And if we can make people understand our message, we'll have three to one. We'll beat them three to one. We'll run every one of those son of a bitches out of town. But we can't let them divide and conquer us. And that's what they do. They'll give this person a little job, this person a little job. They'll divide and conquer. They don't want the black and whites to get together. Because if we all get together, we'll all be one. And they know that we're strong enough to beat them. So they're going to keep us divided and conquered. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with the ex-mayor, which is still the mayor, Gary Carnwell. And we'll be back right after this break. This is Bob Romanic, the Grim Reaper of radio. And you're listening to the all-new KQQZ, 1190 AM, America's by state voice of freedom your guardian of the First Amendment, Radical Radio, and we all, as always, proud, proud to be the Patriot. From KQQZ 1190 AM, St. Louis, Missouri, USA, you're listening to Bob Romanek, the Grim Reaper of Radio. This is 
Bob Romanich, the Grim Reaper of Radio, and you're listening to the all-new KQQZ 1190 AM, America's by state voice of freedom, your guardian of the First Amendment, Radical Radio, and we are, as always, proud, very proud to be the Patriot. For all you people that are listening, you need to come out here to Cahokia. You ought to see the crowd. People are sweating their behinds off, but they're out here for a cause. They're not out here to listen to my crap. They're out here to protest what's going on in this once great, you hear me, once great village of Cahokia, Illinois. My mother lived out here. She's dead now. But I tell you what, if she'd be living out here now, it'd probably kill her. I hear there's good people, black and white, ready to move out. Why should good people, both black and white, why should they have to move out? Because some no-count, low-life, good-for-nothing, got to say this, Plantation Negroes, the McCall team, the McCall team, they're nothing more. They've got black skin. They're not black people. They go up there and play with these white boys. They give the white boys all the money. The white boys prop them up, give them a few bucks. And you know who gets hurt? We do, the people of St. Clair County, the people of Cahokia, and no one, no one better to talk about what has been going on and what went on in the past in Cahokia than the ex-mayor of Cahokia, the former mayor of Cahokia, Mayor Gary Carnwell. Gary? Thank you very much. It's an honor and a privilege to have you, Gary. What can you tell me about this once great community? Well, since the taking over of the new administration, you know, there's been a, a public outcry. And, you know, my hat's off to this crowd that's out here right now. That's great. This is great to see. You know, it all started with some illegal firings. You know, they fired right. a lot of union people, uh, created a lot of union grievances. And I want the, the other unions out there to know, the other union officials, that, you know, the money that comes into the McCall campaign is not directly donated to the McCall campaign in most cases. Most cases, it comes to him through the St. Clair Central County. Uh, that's correct. You know, so uh, think about that. You know, when they solicit you for their golf tournaments, when they solicit you for large donations, think about what they're doing with that money. And, you know, now they've hired a lot of people. And really, I question, you know, how much work these folks are actually going to get done. It's it's really just amounts to titles with high salaries. Well, here, Mayor, if you being the ex-mayor, I know they're trying to circumvent hiring, uh, firing these hardworking union members. And I have to have a side note. You unions, wake your asses up. This is McCall. This is part of the St. Clair County Democratic Central Committee. This is part of God Sprague advising them what to do. And they're slapping every one of you unions, not just 520 down here, but every one of you union brothers and sisters, because they're letting this happen. Now, McCall will go up Election Day. God Sprague will go up Election Day. Mark Sweet Cakes Kern will go up Election Day in 2016, and they'll say, we want, we want the endorsement of the unions. If I'm a union member, I tell them to kiss my white, hairy, stinky, wet ass now because these no good son of a bitches, they never do anything. The Democratic, here, let me take a side note, Mayor. You'll like this. They're running John Bear Civic's son. I won't use the nickname because there's some young kids around, so I'll let that go. B.J. Bear Civic. They pushed him out there. God Sprague, John Bear Civic, Mark Kern. They pushed him out there without asking any of the other Democrats. Now, the Democratic Central Committee in, in uh, D.C. came down yesterday, I know for a fact, met with Sprague. Sprague says, you're making us look bad. We need to get some money. The Democratic National Committee said, we're not giving B.J. Civic a penny. He's not qualified. We're not for him. Sprague give this guy a little crap. This guy cut Sprague out from Washington, D.C., the National Democratic Committee, slammed the door to his office and walked out. Now, that shows you how the Democrats in St. Clair County are crumbling day in and day out. Yeah, yeah, and it's due to their arrogance. That's right, Mayor. You know, and there's a connection with C.J. Barra Civic here in the village of Cahokia and Bob Sprague, too. When we made common sense changes to our liquor chapter to, to eliminate a lot of the nuisances that were taking place in, in the public, uh, they all got together. They filed a lawsuit against the village, and guess who their attorney was? C.J. Barrasivic. C.J. Barrasivic. And guess who came on board about a year at, later? God Sprague. Bob Sprague. No, not God, no, you'll be struck down. It's God Sprague. You know, he's he's not okay. Bob. He's God. But, Mayor, what, what did you guys plan? I know you were the chairman of the Democratic uh, Party down here in St. Clair and in Cahokia, and I know you're a proud member and the uh, director of the Cahokia branch of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. 
do you guys, will you commit to fighting the cause in 2016? Because if we get rid of these guys in Belleville, all the county officers in Bell, offices in Belleville, we can survive in Belleville. You guys can survive in Cahokia. If God Sprague and those guys win these 2016 elections, every one of you might as well pack up because you'll give Curtis McCall all the strength he needs. If we can stop Curtis McCall in his tracks, if we get a county board chairman elected, if we get elected officials up there, Democrats, Republicans, we want to vote the person, not the party. You guys will be heard down here in Cahokia. If God Sprague runs his ticket with Mark Kern, with Kelly, with Rick Stone, with all those same people of 30 years, they're going to give the hammer to Curtis McCall Sr. and Curtis McCall Jr., and you guys are going to be destroyed in 2016, Mayor. Agree with me or not? You know, how could we not be involved? Look at this crowd that's out here today. These guys have created a public outcry, and it's all due to the shutting out of the public and the violations of the Open Meetings Act, illegal firings, questionable hirings. It's not their money. Everybody that's standing here right now, that's your money that they're spending. You know, they hired a recreation supervisor for 60 some thousand dollars a year. Wait, wait, what did you tell me? Plus benefits, plus plus, plus? benefits. So if you add it all up, it's a little closer to a hundred thousand dollars a year. But the pool, swimming pool's not open. They could have opened the swimming pool with that money. He promised that the first day. The first day he ran, he told me, he says, Romani, I'm not far, but you know, we're going to get the swimming pool open. I've got everything that he aggressively pursued lowering property taxes. Now, he's a lying son of a bitch. He can't. He can't, on his own as a mayor, aggressively try to lower anything. And he wouldn't because St. Clair County doesn't want property taxes lowered. So you think one of their boys, not being black, but one of their boys being their boy, you think that they're going to try to help you people out, lower your taxes? Hey, they got to raise the taxes so they can hire their relatives up in the county, mayor. That's correct. You know, it's all about the money for them. And once they get their claws into a, a, any branch of government, they're going to abuse it. They're going to hire their friends. You're not going to see a lot of work getting done. You know, they hired three public works people also at the same time for $187,000. That's just their salaries. That's not counting the other benefits that would come along with it. You could have blacked up a lot of streets with that money. You know, you could have the pool open with the rec recreation money that they're spending. This time last year, we had the pool open. We were playing t-ball with the kids. We had a lot of things going. We had programs going on at the fitness center that involved the kids in this community and their parents were involved with it too. So we had a lot of good things going on. I don't see that happening today. You know, we've got to change it. We've got to, the only thing that they understand is that the polls, you know, the, the first day to circulate petitions uh, September for the, the first. is September the 1st. And what I want to say to everybody is, you know, when somebody knocks on your door, pay attention when they're asking for your signature on their petition. Don't just sign it just because it's just to get on the ballot, in your opinion, because once you sign and dedicate yourself to a signature on somebody's petition, you cannot sign the petition of another okay. person, another candidate that's running for the same uh, position. So, you know, pay attention to what you're looking at. Ask who they're affiliated with predominantly. Ask if they're a part of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. If they're not... Tell them to get off your porch. Here, Mayor, you made a good point. Now, you've got a lot of intelligent people out here, a lot of true Democrats. That's why the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition was formed. The Democratic Party of my grandfather, of my father, of your grandfather, of your father, it's not. It's a renegade Democratic Party. That's why the St. Clair County Coalition is uniting Democrats, Republicans, independents. We want to vote the, vote the person, not the party. Is there anybody out here that, to this day, maybe back in the day, to this day, would vote straight Democrats just because somebody, just because a precinct committeeman or somebody, so you know, I'd kick them in their ass. Vote for these guys. Got to vote straight Democrat. No, I got to vote for the person that's going to do something for me. And the problem the Democrats will have in 2016, nobody likes incumbents. You notice in 14, when the county people ran, it wasn't re-elect always before. The incumbency was a great thing. It wasn't re-elect anymore. It's elect. If you'll get some of the Democratic candidates since 14 when they ran, get their flyers, get their uh, posters and their banners, you don't see Democrat anywhere on there, Mayor. You know why? Because they're ashamed of what, they, what they've done, but they can't hide. This is too small of a county for them to run and hide. And as you see, they're trying to run and hide from me. I'll ask all of you. Mr. Heatherly, this gentleman here, if I talked about him half as bad as I talked about these politicians, He'd be up there with a gun or a knife, and I wouldn't blame him. But you notice everybody I talk about, nobody comes to defend. I tried to give the county board chairman, and if I say something on the air, I have to do it, or I get fined more than I, I'll probably get $25,000 fine, and I've had it in the past. Offered him $10,000 to come, and not to talk to me, 
but to talk to his constituents, all of you. And I was going to give another $10,000 to the poor, to the hungry. Never showed up. Now, what kind of politician, what kind of person is that that represents the whole county and won't come up on his own and won't come up if I'm going to give $10,000 to feed the poor? I told him, and I mean this, and I hate the son of a bitch. Mark, sweet cakes, Kern, give me $10,000 so I can feed the poor. I'll match it. I'll come up there, and I'll wash your feet. I'll wash and dry your feet if you'll give me $10,000 because I'm not that vain. You know, I don't have that big an ego. I'm out here to help people. You know what? I'm not, a, I'm not a perfect person. I've been in trouble. I've made mistakes. I've paid my dues. But I'll tell you what. They tried to hold me down. They'll try to hold you people down. When they're going to hold us down, and I know you guys are out here in the heat, they're going to hold us down when they're taking us horizontally in the last parade of our life, right? We're going to fight till the end. Thank you, guys. We're going to fight. We're going to fight till the end. Mayor, you got a great group of people out here. Last year I come out and visited you. We were out by this park. It was beautiful. What the hell? Did a bomb hit it? And, and, and I don't want to disrespect uh, Officer Chambers and the brave military heroes that you guys are honoring out here, but damn. I mean, it looks like a war zone. Yeah, and, and, you know, they like to pretend like everything is a lot better now than it was when they're under my administration. But, you know, I beg to differ. You can't compare anything that happened in my administration to what's going on here in the village of Cahokia right now. You know, and, and all the turmoil. And, and I got to short the McCall team because if they wanted to make changes, they could have made changes. But you don't come in and make wholesale changes. You don't come in and make changes that are going to cost I would venture to say when this is all over, and I know the seven people that were fired illegally don't want to take money from the village, but when they sue, it has to come from the village. But I short the McCall team because they're the ones going to expose the village of Cahokia to probably a million, two million dollars in liability when it's all said and done, Mayor. That's right, and that's why they're so brazen about it, because it's not their money, and they know that. When you when you take action like what's been taken in the last uh, couple of months, you know, it's going to be taken out on the village. Any grievances that are settled, any lawsuits that may or may not uh, be generated from these actions, it's a liability of the village, not a liability of Curtis McCall personally. Yeah. And so it's not his money, and he don't care. Well, I'll tell you what. It seems like the people at Cahokia care. We're going to take a quick break, Mayor. I just hope, and hopefully in the very near future, that we can persuade you, we, the members of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, to get involved in county politics because you guys need a representative up there in Belleville from Cahokia, and I don't think there's any better candidate than you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate Mayor Gary Cornwell, thank you very much. Scott, what in parting words to the good people of Cahokia, Mayor? You know, we're sitting here in front of the Jeremy Chambers Monument. It's beautiful. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at it firsthand, get yourself out here and take a look at it. It's great. And while you're here, say a, say a prayer for the Chambers family. They're a great group of people. You know, God bless Cahokia, the Chambers family, and, and uh, heaven help us right now. You know, we're in a rough time right now. So, you know, but we'll get through it. You know, uh, it can't last forever for these guys. Let's make sure that it doesn't. Hey, Mayor, we're not going to let it last forever because the St. Clair County Coalition, you got Roger Cook here, Carl Officer, co-chair, you got me. They say, hey, Romantic, you get, get somebody pissed, the coalition is going to hurt. If somebody gets mad at me for what I say, get mad at me. Don't be mad at the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition because these guys are going to help all of us out. If you call me a no-good son bitch and you can help put food on my table, you can call me a no-good son bitch twice. Mayor Gary Carnwell, thank you very much, buddy. Best of luck thank to you. you in the future. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back, and we're going to get some people in the audience. We're going to get, get the real people. And I told them, and Fox, have your uh, finger next to the kill switch because some of these people or matter than I get on the air. So I mean, we can't have a lot of that crap because I don't want to pay $1,500,000 a day. But we're going to come back. We're going to talk to some of the real people of Cahokia, and we'll be back right after this break. This is Bob Romanic, the Grim Reaper of radio, and you're listening to the all-new KQQZ, 1190 AM, America's by state voice of freedom and proud, proud to be your First Amendment and all-American station, radical radio at its finest, and we stand tall, tall as the Patriot. From KQQZ 1190 AM, St. Louis, Missouri, USA, you're listening to Bob Romanek, the Grim Reaper of radio. Bob 
Bob Romantic, the Grim Reaper of Radio, and you're listening to the all-new KQQZ, 1190 AM, America's by State Voice of Freedom Radical Radio, and we're proud of it. And we are also proud, very, very proud to live in this country and be the patriot. All these people out here, I'll tell you what, I got to salute them all. They're sweating their asses off. You know what I'm going to do? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm charging everybody out here 20 bucks because I've helped you lose 10 pounds. So it's, get the, the, take the hat around. Did you say, the lady said I was hot? Oh, no, it's hot out here. Never mind. Never, never mind. Hey, with me. A gentleman, an ex-police officer, a true American, a fighter, and he'll fight for whatever cause he believes in, and whether he's right or wrong. We all can't be right for the causes we fight for, but we have to be committed. Unlike me, who should be committed, this gentleman's committed to the cause. Mr. Chris Heatherly, Heatherly how are you doing, Chris? I'm very good, Bob. Thanks for having me on your show. I appreciate it. You live here in Cahokia, right? Well, I used to. Used to I used to. to. My mom and aunt both live here in Cahokia. And, uh, oh, good. Then you got a bigger stake than if you lived here. You've got your parents and, and family living here. Absolutely. And uh, I've sat back uh, for, I graduated from Cahokia High School in 1981, and I've sit, sat back for all these years watching this corrupt system that St. Clair County has in place. I've I've gone to foreign countries and fought battles for, for tyranny just like this. And I salute you for that, sir. Thank oh, you. my pleasure. It was an honor to do it. But uh, today we have a tyranny in our own our own country, in our own city. And what I love to see is all these people standing up saying, we're not going to take this God spray crap anymore. We're going to get together and we're going to let you know this country is the United States. We're here for freedom. You're not going to uh, fake votes. You're not going to uh, fake paperwork. You're not going to d- d- knock down the will of the people because I'm not going to stand for it. And I don't think anybody here is going to stand for that. You know, Chris, I don't think you, anybody here, or any decent person that knows what's going on. Roger Cook, me, Carl Officer, we've all been throughout St. Clair County. They're getting the message for the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. It's not about a party. It's about a person. All of us. All of us are people. Chris Heather, what do you want to tell the good people of Cahokia before we get you off? Because i got a real dynamite coming on after you, I know. <laughs> I want to tell them that, that you're not alone. Uh, you may sit home and think, uh, I'm, I'm being overrun by these people, but you're not alone. And uh, I am a proud member of the Freedom Coalition, as you all should be, because together we can show these douche... I'm sorry, I can't say that. Yes, these, Go ahead. These douchebags from St. Clair County, we can tell them, you're not representing us. We're going to get rid of you and put people in who do. God bless America, Bob. Chris Heatherly, thank you very much, buddy. Hey, I want to put a little shout out before we get with this uh, firecracker here to Cahokia Motors. Cahokia Motors in the house. Cahokia Motors in the house. Proud members of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, and the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition is proud to have you guys on board. Thank you guys very much. Now, with me, with me is a lady. Well, she is a lady, but sometimes I don't think she talks like a lady. <laughs> Can I get your name, hon? Uh, my name's Jessica McClellan. Jessica, I've heard you've been uh, you've been kind of all over out here because you speak as loud and as proud as any man in this community. Well, I'm very, very passionate about Cahokia. I've been here my whole life. Um, I'm looking around at this crowd. How many of you guys are lifetime residents? We're we're looking at probably a thousand years between this group here of Cahokia. Um, I grew up here, um, born and raised, and and went to school here. My children went to school here. My dad had a shop, uh, an automotive shop. That's how I met Jerry Nichols. As a matter of fact, they used to race together. Yeah. And um, what I have seen in my entire life, I've never seen this type of disrespect for the citizens of Cahokia. Couldn't said it any better. I mean, it is just egregious that these lifetime residents and homeowners are being treated like crap by this McCall team coming in. Um, they're, they're coming in and running it as a dictatorship versus a democracy yeah. anymore. Jessica, let me tell you, and you brought a good point. You're a lifelong resident. A lot of these people are. Curtis McCall Jr., his papa didn't move in t- in, into the city or village of Cahokia, but about two, three years ago, if it was that long ago, they carpetbagged his son. Now, how egregious. You got a daddy that's a township supervisor in Centerville Township, which encompasses Cahokia. They got to be greedy enough. 
I understand if the blacks or the whites want to get ahead, want to run, everybody has every right to. But why wouldn't they, Curtis McCall, the township supervisor, say, hey, my family's got enough. Let's let another family have somebody run for mayor. That shows you how greedy that no good son of a bitch Curtis McCall Sr. is. That shows you how greedy the people in St. Clair County are. And we've watched it go on for 50 years. We can talk about it all day long. But until we unite with the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, nothing's going to get done. And I promise you, I guarantee you, if these guys win, if the culture of corruption, the St. Clair County Democratic Central Committee, wins their candidates in 2016, they're all going to be for McCall because McCall has given the county chairman, God Sprague, the chairman of the organization, a $200,000, $300,000 a year job down here in Cahokia. He's given God Sprague a $200,000, $300,000 a year job in Centerville Township. He takes that money back up to Belva. Do you think when they win in 16 that Curtis McCall, given Bob Sprague, the leader of the party, $500,000 that McCall in Cahokia, McCall in Centerville Township aren't going to get anything they want. And you know what they want? They want to destroy the good people of Cahokia. You guys, we got to go in 2016. And people say, well, it's not a Cahokia election. Yes, it is. Because how St. Clair County goes in 2016 is how the rest of this county is going to go. And I tell you what, it's not going to be pretty. Jessica, what's your parting shot for everybody? Well, I just want to say um, to stay strong. Uh, we can do this. There's strength in numbers. End of story. Uh, you know, he might have come in here and won illegally, which I do feel that was the case. Um, however, now that he's here, we have to continue to look at look at things, watch people, watch what they're doing, um, report it for crying out loud, and. Um, just stick together, stick together, go to the meetings, know what's going on in your government. And um, without fighting St. Clair County, we can't get any headway with Cahokia too. So they're, they're one and the same. So stay strong and just let Curtis McCall know we're not going any damn where. You're a good lady, and I hope a proud member of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. Absolutely, Bob. Thank you very All much. All right, thank you. Now i got a gentleman again, our, our buddy, co-chair of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, and we want to apologize to the listeners on the radio because we've got wind coming out of here, and when we do, it sounds like interference. But, hey, I'm happy for this wind. I hope everybody else is. Roger Cook, in parting, i got to say what a great crowd. What a sincere crowd. You know, there's enough people here. We can here that we're here for the hot dogs and the soda. We've got a good majority of people here, the vast majority are here for the cause to get rid of this culture of corruption. How can they get a hold of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition? We uh, we have a Facebook uh, page, Bob. And uh, the Facebook page is St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. Go to that. You can see things that we're doing. We, we put them on there. Uh, my sister, Kenny, operates that for me. When we get a question, she calls me, and I answer it, and she posts that. So get on there. You can follow us if you got some suggestions or anything like that. I want to tell a quick story. In 1993, at 36 years old, I became mayor of Belleville. As I told you earlier, I took on Bob Sprague and the machine and beat a 16-year incumbent. One of the first things I did was kick Bob Sprague out as city attorney. Yes, you did. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear it. And let me tell you what else good government does when people go in there and represent our interest. He made $130,000 in fiscal 92-93. You know what my city attorney got? I fixed the salary at 52000 flat. And it's been ever that way ever since, other than the percentage increases over the year. No longer could you bill for hours. Now, I wonder if they're he's billing Cahokia hourly. Well, he will be. Plus his retainer. And so that's just one small example of what people that go into office to represent what's best for us can do. In St. Clair County, we can make miracles happen. From part-time people getting pensions that Dallas Cook, the city clerk in Belleville, my son, has eliminated in Belleville, can take away the free insurance for people on committees that are part-time, that we're paying. And that's only a start. We can go down the line, and we can cut all that crap out. 
and then bring government back to us. So on election day in 2016 is our opportunity. A lot of you have experience in precincts as poll watchers, election judges. We need you. That's where we're going to stop it. That's where they steal the votes because they push out the election judges, the, the precinct committeemen, and they manufacture votes until they get enough to beat us. We're not going to allow that to happen this time because we're going to be out here getting people like you that care, and, and we're going to make the difference, and we're going to bring government back to us. So I appreciate all of you. As I tell Bob, I really don't appreciate all his language, <laughs> but what I do appreciate, the voice, the voice that he gives all of us together we can bring this government back to the people. And without his radio station. Lack of vulgarity. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get him to quit using some of the words, but <laughs> I guarantee you I'll, I'll probably not be successful. But thanks to Bob, thanks to all of you. Let's Together we can fight the fight and win. Thank you. Mr. Roger Cook, co-chair of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition and the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition for the Facebook. Is that right? Yeah, just Google it. St. Clair County Freedom Coalition, it'll pop up. And when they need some information, somebody in your organization will get back with them. Kenny will, Kenny will call me and say, hey, we've got a question. I know we had questions recently, and yeah. she contacted me, and uh, we'll take care of it. And Roger made a good point. Come September the 1st, petitions come out, and there's going to be people circulating the petition. I'm personally trying to get Roger Cook to run on the county ticket. He's got experience as a mayor. He's fought. He's fought against Bob Sprague. We've seen that. He's the only one to kick Bob Sprague in his ass and kick him out of his office. And... Uh, He's a little reluctant because he says, hey, I've been the mayor. Maybe it's time for somebody else. And I said, no, now it's time for experience. We need to get some experienced people that know what they're doing. And hopefully through the St. Clair County Coalition, Roger, that uh, that maybe we can convince you. Thank you very well, much. Let me say one more thing, Bob. You know, most of you know that I, I ran uh, in the last election. And, you know, when you when you put yourself out there and you work every day, and you come down to like Cahokia or to East St. Louis and meet people. You meet I meet a lot of good people. And when you know that you won an election, and on election night, the polls close, and and some of the areas like Centerville Township didn't report until the end, eight precincts. And in East St. Louis is always slow because they manufacture votes and beat you. You don't know how hard it is after all the work you've done and, and how you know. I know the machine. I know government. And I know how to make changes best for us. But when they steal it, that hurts. It's tough. It's tough. And Mayor Cornwell can probably know that, too. So it is tough. But I, I, I am seriously considering running again only because we put this coalition together and I put my trust in you people that you've seen the light. I seen it back in 93. That's when I flipped away from those guys. I seen what they're all about. I can't have nothing to do with that. Now hopefully you guys can educate your friends. If they live here, if they live in Allerton, if they live in Centerville, if they live in Washington Park, or East St. Louis, in Belleville, wherever. Tell your friends together we can do this. So thank you, Bob. Mr. Thanks Roger Cook, co-chair of St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. We're just about out of time, but I want to tell you, good people, I may be a candidate for state representative. Part of the district is Cahokia, Centerville. I'm going to probably run against Eddie the Gerbil Jackson, the guy in East St. Louis that does nothing. But let me tell you, we talked about county board members, and they've got a purpose. But why would a county board member comes up once a month for a half hour, $25,000, a pension, and full insurance benefits. What the hell? If you don't want to do something for your community, so if I run, I'm going to pledge not $100,000 a year for a part-time job as a state rep. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight for $25,000 a year, no insurance. Why should some guy drive up to Springfield a couple months out of the year and get a full insurance package, a full benefit? At the end, if you work 10, if you're elected five terms, 10 years, you get 85% of your salary. That's seventy thousand dollars a year that you guys are paying, and what I'm going to say, I'm going to have my flyers out. I'm not a perfect person. I've been in trouble. I don't think any of us are perfect. I can't stop taxes being raised. I can't do that as one person. I can't stop crime like Curtis McCall and all these bastards all over this country. I'm going to stop crime, lower taxes, better schools. Well, everybody wants that. But what I'll tell all of you is, if I get elected, 
The only thing I'll promise, I'll go up to Springfield, and I'm going to make those son of a bitches accountable. They may throw me out every day, but I guarantee I'm going to stand for what I believe in. I'm going to stand for what you people believe in. Again, not perfect, far from being perfect. But what I am perfect at is fighting for a cause. And the cause is we need somebody in Springfield. We need somebody in Belleville that's going to fight for all of us, the common people, not the big shots, not the big elitist bastards up there now. Hey, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate all of you coming out. Thank you. Hey, it's time to go. We've been here in Cahokia. What a great group of people. Actually, we want to stay because the weather's getting a little bit better. It's getting a little, uh, little less hot, a little more windy. But I want to say everybody in Cahokia, thank you very much. Got a great crowd. Hopefully, they'll all be part of the St. Clair County Freedom Coalition. So until tomorrow, we'll see you around. This is Bob Romani. The Grim Reaper of Radio, and you've been listening to the all-new KQQZ, 1190 AM, America's by State Voice of Freedom Radical Radio. And we are, as always, proud, proud to be the Patriot. Come on back tomorrow. Won't be the same place. It'll be the same time, 10 o'clock. I don't know where the hell we'll be. We may be in jail. I'm surprised we're not here today. But remember, people, just like these great citizens of Cahokia, Illinois, together, and we've been together today, we're going to be all out through, all out through this great county. Together, we can destroy these bastards. And I want to say a special thank you to Jerry Nichols. I look over at our American flag, unlike Belleville, and you people in Cahokia ought to appreciate that. It's flying at half staff for those five brave military heroes that died on our soil, that the rotten mayor of Belleville wouldn't fly the flag at half staff, that your county board chairman wouldn't fly the flag at half staff. I say every veteran, everyone that had a veteran in their family, everyone that loves this country, they had to throw these son of a bitches out of office in 2016 without a question. And together we can do that. We'll drag them over the political coals of hell. And as you all know, we got to destroy these no count, low life, Good for nothing, son of a bitch, and parasitical, perverted punks that we call politicians. Uh huh. Destroy them politically, of course. I want to go to jail for threatening somebody. Right here on the dark side. They're coming to take me away, haha. They're coming to take me away, ho ho, hee hee, haha. To the funny farm where life is beautiful all the time. And I'll be happy to see those nice young men in their clean white coats. And they're coming to take me away, haha. The Patriot. Your First Amendment and All American Station. A division of Insane Broadcasting. Renegade Radio. Take you, Kim St. Louis.